Hello everyone and welcome back. Today's video is indeed going to be my wardrobe tour and I'm really excited because I'm really proud of my wardrobe at the moment. Um, I did things a little bit color coordinated and everything that I have in there I actually wear, I actually you know incorporate on my lookbooks and everything. And yeah, disclaimer, this is going to be a very chatty wardrobe tour just because my wardrobe makes me happy and when things make me happy I like to talk about them. So um, I'm gonna be showing you guys all of my shoes and all of my coats because I can easily go through them, I don't have that much. It's quite of a humble wardrobe in my opinion but you guys will say it. So without further ado, let's open these doors. Since this is a rented house, it came with it. There was nothing I could do about them. I wish they were white. Ideally, these would be white. But I was just happy that, you know, a rented house has had this much wardrobe space. I can't even fill it up. As you guys can see, there's like a huge gap there because I just buy the essential now. I'm that type of angel now. So yeah, I removed some of my summer pieces. If you have like a small wardrobe space, you don't want to have all your denim shorts, bikinis and everything cluttering your wardrobe when it's, you know, fall, winter. You might as well just put them away on like a a suitcase or whatever that's what I did now as you can see I have two and this one is like quite filled and this one is like very empty just because again I don't shop that much and I'm not gonna be like oh I have such a big wardrobe I should shop in order to you know no and guys please sorry about the light situation my window is on that side so I'm gonna always have more light on this side for some of the clips but yeah let's start by this side so on this side of the wardrobe I basically put um, all my tops and a few other bits down here and on that side I have my coats and my bottoms and my bags and my underwear as well so let's start with here so I'm gonna hold the tripod like that this is the top part and as you can see someone is a fan of knitwear like I'm literally obsessed with jumpers uh, I just can't get enough I had to stop myself this was the last one I got and I had to stop myself I was like Yara you don't need you know all of that um, this is very warm and this is like my go-to during winter. These colors are just fun and you guys will realize that I have a crush on these colors. You know, neutrals are like my babes. So yeah, um, these are my knits. After the knits, this is where I put uh, my bed sheets, which are so chunky and annoying. So I keep them all at the back there. This is just a huge boohoo scuba dress, the one I wore on my 22nd birthday vlog. I'm really trying to get rid of it and i don't know if anyone wants to buy it hit me up and here i have um just a few gym stuff like my gym top my gym bra i just messed it up <laughs> guys <laughs> i just made a mess this is just a corner with like random jumpers and this is just two ribbed turtleneck jumpers this is a mesh um navy jumper this is the deming crop top that i'm actually wearing on my latest lookbook please go check out that lookbook um this is another thin jumper and this is a very beautiful mesh top from Miss Guida that i love i barely use it because i feel like it's very much more club appropriate or like beach appropriate but since my life doesn't have none of those i barely use it which is a shame okay now on to this side at the back there i have my huge adidas hoodie below my adidas hoodie i have just other chunky stuff for winter at the back here in the middle behind my sweaters i have more winter stuff like winter pajamas and everything here i have just random tops i decided to coordinate in gray black to white um these are just long sleeve tops everything here is long sleeve and then these are my tops these are actually tank tops summer tank tops and i was telling you guys that i put summer clothes away but i decided to leave these ones here because this is aesthetically pleasing baby so yeah all crop tops these are basically all summer tops um i might be wearing them just to film videos like when winter comes and everything so down here we only have one two three four five hangers so in this first hanger this is just a winter stay at home outerwear <laughs> and underneath i have this shirt dress from primark that i now hate because it looks um absolutely cheap so yeah i need to get rid of this and send it to charity someone might want to thrift it you know because it's, it's nice. Or maybe I should keep it to wear it with ties and like a coat. 
yeah maybe i'll keep it because <laughs> i can easily wear it with ties jumper and a coat and nobody will be able to peep that it's a cheap um it's a cheap looking shirt dress you know it's all about layering that's what i love about winter so yeah and underneath these two i have this dress which is the dress that i wore for my 22nd birthday that dress i wore for my 23rd and this one i wore for my 22nd birthday i've been trying to get rid of this dress for the longest time like if any of you guys wants to buy it please do hit me up on instagram or something it's beautiful it looks amazing on the body i'll try to insert a pic of me wearing it it looks beautiful on the body and i don't know i think it's such a nice new year's dress or um christmas party or something so please hit me up if you want to buy it because i've been trying to get rid of it for the longest time it's from the brand glamorous and it's on the size small 80 pounds i guess i would sell it for like obviously way less i just want to get rid of it and it's not the type of thing that you send to charity either so if i can get rid of it i'll try to give it to someone or something but please hit me up if you want to buy it guys okay so on the second hanger we have um denim shirt staple basic and then this shirt that i actually rented about on a video that i regretted buying it clothes that i regret buying this is one of them it's a pj style but i think the print is just it doesn't go with me i still think i might be able to rock it you know like for a dinner date with some um like palazzo pants and then cinch it on the waist with this belt so that's why I, st I still have it here because you know with some gold accessories it would look really bomb it's just that on a day-to-day -day basis I wouldn't rock this pajama trend so yeah we have that and my denim shirt on the third hanger we have this boohoo cape and another cape this one I used during summer and I incorporated it on a lookbook with my shirt dress so yeah I love capes guys I'm wearing a cape and I have like two more capes this one I'm like addicted to capes fourth hanger we have another cape this one is sleeveless and we have my cream dress which you guys might have seen on my summer capsule wardrobe video very basic I love layering this with like a turtleneck top long sleeve during winter and then like a jacket it's just bomb <laughs> I really, really like it and this is from boohoo and on the third hanger I have another cape this is like my favorite cape ever it's also from boohoo and it's a long sleeveless you guys might have seen this like countless times if you follow my blog my Instagram and if you watch my capsule wardrobe video inside I have the shirt dress that I used on the lookbook I hope you guys can't listen to the rain the show must go on so yeah this cape is also from boohoo so i noticed that i tend to have lots of capes from boohoo not lots three and this material particularly is amazing like you can tell it's something cheap from boohoo and i might even go to the website to just to check what new capes they have on because they are really really worth it reason why i think they look good is because obviously they are capes so i barely wash them and the fact that i barely wash these capes I, this one i only washed once and it still looks amazing because this is sort of a scuba material and i think that the problem with cheap stores and cheap fabrics is after washing them that's why when it comes to boohoo i only go for the capes because i feel like i can wear the capes and i don't have to wash them so i don't have to deal with the fabric becoming shit guys it's raining so much i really hope you can listen to it so yeah those are the hangers for here i literally don't have any more clothes to fill up this space so now down here there's literally nothing just two random bags that are full of um random stuff miscellaneous stuff should i say and then at the bottom there we have <laughs> foul locks that i bought um before getting these locks on my head i wanted to try foul locks but i couldn't do them on my hair properly so i got fucked <laughs> so yeah i put them all the way there and i have a water bottle that my ex gifted me when i was like literally dying on my period how sweet of him yeah my ex was sweet <laughs> so yeah that's it for the right side of the wardrobe it might be your left but it's my right side Doo -doo 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 -doo. 
now let's go to this side and then we do the shoes last or should we do the shoes and then now let's go to the other side let's continue talking about clothes now let's start with this top shelf and on top here we have my mini bags this is the one you guys are tired of seeing on my lookbooks this one as well this is so 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 cute i got it on sale last time at zara and i never wore it i think i wore it just once to like an in-house dinner but I think I'll find ways... Come on. Come on. Come on. You're on YouTube. Behave. Behave. Jeez. Huh. I think I'm gonna find ways to style it for like fall and winter. Then behind here I have my furla. Um, behind there I have like other bags that I barely use. Might have to get rid of them soon as well. This is my travel pillow, like neck pillow. These are my caps and down there there's like pads and liners. Um, in this small section I have like mini skirts. These are my two favorite suede skirts. Um, this is a sequin skirt that I really like as well. And then here I have a fabric pants or just trousers. And you can see that someone has a crush on navy blue trousers. I have like three. One of them is a pair of culottes. My pinstripe trousers that I love and these are the ones that I thrifted. I took to the tailor, added the white cotton bar and they look so good guys. I'm gonna be wearing these on my next lookbook so stay tuned. This is a pair of light grey culottes. In this basket I keep my intimates, underwear, bras, nip stickers and whatnot. And behind there, there's just my pairs of jeans. These are my daily leggings. These are my black jeans. These are my blue jeggings and my boyfriend jeans. And that's all for jeans. I just find jeans uncomfortable. That's why I don't have many of them. Okay, now let's start from the beginning. This is a hanger with all my scarves, like the floral, the more summery ones, and then the more wintery one that I'll be using a lot very, very soon. So I keep them in this hanger, this type, and yeah, it's very good for scarves, for belts, for necklaces. This thing is good. You just need to know what you want to use it for. First thing we have is my white shirt and a white cropped shirt. Um, after that, I have this bomber jacket that I love, and this is just oh, beautiful. I love this jacket. It's very old from Study Various, but it's going to be a classic here in my wardrobe. I love wearing this during spring. And underneath, I have this dress from... AX Paris and the color is stunning so that's a cute pink combo there and then after that I have this beautiful cardigan that I got on a thrift shop yes it's gorgeous I love it and this is the dress I wore on my graduation same same shade of pink <laughs> um, and it's another cute combo right there then I have my camel coat that I'm going to be styling for a fall outfit video very soon so stay tuned for another lookbook with the camel coat because I can't get enough it's just such a beautiful color okay it's, it's just a beautiful color and then I have the only furry piece I own I got this on a thrift shop as well and it's a um, short sleeve and it's a cropped vest sort of it's very fluffy hopefully I'll be able to make a photo shoot with it or something then I have this khaki belted coat that I really, really like underneath it is like my main winter layer and then I have this khaki belted coat that I got from next I guess and I really really love it I'm thinking about styling it for a lookbook as well because I think that could be relevant for winter and then I have my structured double breasted blazer that I got from mango sales and I'm Featuring this one on my latest lookbook as well. If you haven't checked my latest lookbook, go check it. I love this blazer. I love double-breasted blazers. I love masculine pieces and this is pretty much very masculine. So I love it. It goes there and then after that I have a long-lined bomber jacket. I feel like long-lined bomber jackets are like my favorite and I feel like they are more flattering on me. And I got this one from Primark. And I think it's the one thing with the best quality that I ever got from Primark. The only shitty part is that it gathers a lot of uh, bubbles from the scarves and everything. But other than that, it looks amazing on. And it was five pounds. It was like a crazy sale. And I was like, five pounds for a long line bomber? Gotta have it. And I got this one and I got the black one that I'll show you guys at the end as well. After that, still on the navy blue. I have this coat that I got from H&M and I don't like it that much. I don't find it super comfortable just because these parts go until like 
I don't know and I feel like I hate the buttons as well what I'm gonna do is remove these buttons and get some sick ass buttons like silver or gold something more edgy and up-to-date because these buttons really 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 depress me I think they're so grannish and then after the navy blue we go for the blacks I have this just basic black blazer and inside of it I have this cute cardigan that I got from a thrift shop I feel like it's quite Chanel I never wore it as well but I feel like it would look nice like on a dinner date with white pants black top like a gold necklace granny earrings I can't wait to wear this cardigan, I swear. Second is oversized denim jacket. I got this one from the men's section on Primark as well. And I'm glad that I didn't go for an expensive brand like Levi's or whatever. Because it does the job. It doesn't keep you warm because it's just like a windshield. I, do, I don't think denim jackets keep you warm unless they have lining. This is just a wind blocker. You have to layer a lot under this in order to feel warm. And then I have my tall leather jacket from Zara in correct leather. And I'm sick of this one. I wish it was like smooth leather. I'm quite bored of this jacket now. If I can sell it, I will just to buy something different. But for the time being, it's gonna stay here because it's really good at keeping me warm during winter. And after that, I have this coat from H&M. Quality is a little shitty because it's bubbling a lot. Lot, but I just love the design so much. I wish the fabric was better. I think it's a wool blend That's why I don't go for wool blend because after a while it becomes trash. I love the straight cut I love everything with a straight cut. Straight cut will always make you slimmer Sort of yeah, because it's just gonna draw the attention to that straight line there So I really really like this coat and lastly I have the other long line bomber This one is the black and it's just perfect to like throw in and go to the gym and these are my coats So now it's time for the shoes. Okay guys, let's start with the shoes down here as you can see it's very Very black and white look at my shoes at the moment <laughs> So, these are my Nike Air Forces. I barely use them just because it rains a lot in my town. I like to wear these to the airport. So yeah, they stay there until I get a flight ticket somewhere. <laughs> and then besides them, I have these pair of Chelsea boots that I got from eBay. And they look like trash now. So guys, please do not get Chelsea boots on eBay. Mostly because these ones caught rain. <laughs> like, I literally need to throw them away. Then behind here I have a pair of flats, another pair of lace-up flats from Primark and my dream is to get the Louboutin pair because I really find lace-up ballerinas very very flattering, feminine and they add something extra to the outfit so literally goals is to buy the pair of Louboutins. Back here I have a pair of sandals and these are from and other stories. I really like these sandals guys. They're no longer that trendy but I still like them because sometimes you want to be taller but not that tall. You don't want to wear stiletto. So this is quite comfortable. Then in front here we have my pair of Stan Smiths which I told you guys are brown. I need to find a way of washing them and getting them to the white state again because this brown and this dirt really depresses me. I'm not gonna be wearing these during fall and winter for that reason. So when spring comes, I'll find a way to clean them properly. These are my new Pumas, my new additions that I mentioned on my five current favorites. I'm in love with these babies. These, these ones are basically to replace these ones. So these are my like fall and winter walking sneakers. These are my Reebok classics and these are what I call my rain sneakers just because they're like leather sneakers. Doesn't matter how much it's raining, your foot won't get wet. I wouldn't wear these on the rain, obviously, because they're like suede. So these are my rain sneakers. These are my gym sneakers that I talked about on my five current favorites as well. And these are my winter slippers. Mm, nothing special there. Now let's talk about all the shoes up there. So this first pair is one that I featured on my capsule wardrobe. Okay, I need to <laughs> give you guys more space. <laughs> Okay, this first pair is the one that I featured on my capsule wardrobe and this type of sandal guys is like the classiest style ever. You can never go wrong with a two strap pair of heels and I want to get like one with like all black, I still want to get one that is grey because they are so basic and they look good with whatever you wear. So I'm really in love with this one because it looks like I'm not wearing anything in photos and everything. So I really enjoy this pair. My only pair of like sort of short heels. These ones are short too. So these are like my shorter heels. 
if I was like a secretary, this is what I would wear every day. <laughs> I think they're useful for those days in which I want to wear heels, but like not so high. Because they are quite comfortable. This is a pair of chunky heels that I featured in one of my lookbooks as well. It came with the original thingy, but I obviously, being creative as I am, I removed it. I removed the strap and I put this one instead because I thought it was more summery. You can literally do this with like satin, ribbons, any type of ribbons. You just need to be creative. But obviously you need to make sure that it comes with this hook. And then just be creative, guys. Then I have this pair from Paper Dolls. I got this one secondhand from eBay. And they are absolutely cute and like statement. But this part hurts so much. The only thing I can do with this shoe is literally take photos. So... And then we have this oh, guys these are so pretty they're like my recent pair they're from public desire i got them from aces i don't know if they still have it there and it was a gift from my sister my big sister is like amazing she gives me the best gifts i love her because i was too broke to buy these myself <laughs> i'm gonna style them for a lookbook soon for sure but i can't wait to wear these to the club baby Ooh. And I keep them here because I don't want them to catch dust since it's a velvety material. I really don't want them to catch dust. Is this angle right, guys? I hope the angle is like okay. It's odd, but I want you guys to see like which shoes I'm picking and everything. Cool. Next pair. This one I got from Forever 21 like two to three years ago, but I'm never getting rid of them. They're so flattering and I find them quite comfortable. I don't know if it's because they're not that tall. I love taking these to the club. I can dance all night. Not all night, like let's say three hours and not feel tired. This style of um, sandals with three straps, just like the ones with two straps, is like super classic. Moving on to another pop of color. These are my Zara sling bags that I got, I think, 2015. And... That's how you do it guys, that's how you buy things in high street, you buy classic stuff. These I can wear up until I'm 40 years old, like I can see myself being 40 and rocking these. Whenever I just want to add fun to my outfit, I wear these, so goodbye Yara. These are my black stilettos and I got these from eBay as well because I'm the eBay queen and they are just so high guys, so high, so uncomfortable. I can barely walk properly like I'm someone who I kind of know how to walk in heels but these ones they literally defeat me I, I can't keep a posture when walking with this so I tend to only take photos in them and do like lookbook um in the future I want to get like a nice pair of um black stilettos because these ones are not to leave the house at all then we have my eBay sock boots, Kanye inspired, and they are a little dirty because these are not made for the rain either. Um, I haven't worn them outside, I just showed them on my eBay haul and I'm like, I just don't have the lifestyle to wear these guys, I promise. And it's just a shame, but hopefully I'll get to wear them this fall winter. And the last pair of boots is these black boots that I also got from eBay. These ones I love. I find them comfortable. I've worn them out. And I just love the glitter heel. It's so interesting. So yeah, I'm really, really, really wearing these this season. And featuring them on a lookbook very soon as well. So I guess we're done. That's it, guys. This was my wardrobe tour. You can close the doors now. There's no door there because life's not perfect, you know. It's a little display. I like it without the door, okay? But yeah, so that's it, guys. This was my wardrobe tour. Um, I've been wanting to do this video for the longest time before I mess up my wardrobe because it's not always this organized. Like, I obviously did this for the video. These ones are always organized because I want to keep the aesthetic. This is not always organized. Like, if I'm going out, it's, it's, it's over. It's like literally over. That area, the jumpers, are not always organized, but I did it for you. I did it as a source of inspiration. Your goal is to be organized. I enjoyed filming this video so much. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as well. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It's not your typical YouTube wardrobe. I think it's quite different. Like this size of wardrobe, I feel like it's quite attainable for many people. Obviously, if you have a small room, it would be too much maybe, but I just feel like this size of wardrobe is so ideal. I feel like I wouldn't mind always having a wardrobe this size, you know? I think it's not too big, it fits a lot, there's space, there's shoes up there, and yeah, I feel like, you know, if I ever move houses, I would just like to have something like this. I feel like it's enough for me and for what I have, not just that, everything that I have here, 
are things that are absolutely light things that will just stick with me and they'll always feel like wearing like i know many people's goals are like those huge walk-in wardrobes but to be honest i'm not so sure i could have a walk-in wardrobe but at the same time like my clothes and shoes would be on a space like this i i wouldn't need more than this for like my clothes and shoes i don't wanna be on that stage because that would mean that i have too many things and i don't want to have too many things i want to have just the essential that makes me happy and that you know it's just good enough i don't want to have like a bunch of stuff so yeah again i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did so please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends thank you so much for watching please 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 don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss my next videos watch all my previous videos if you're bored you'll find a lot of inspiration and yeah i guess i'll see you guys on my next one thank you so much Mwah.